What's it like to be back at the Jib Fest again? It's crazy. It's, it feels like it's been so long, but then time flies. Like, it's been eight years, so. It's kind of cool this time, though, because when, when I came the first time, I didn't know anyone. I was only like 17, and now I'm just like homeless with pretty much every guy here, so. It's rad. It's awesome to see like some of the OGs people from then being still here. Did you have any um, expectations for this one, or did you just kind of come into it to have fun? I just, I don't know, I just came to have fun, but like, it's funny because everyone's all like, oh, you gotta defend your title, and I, I actually got pretty nervous because I was just trying to think like, hey, yeah, maybe that'd be cool to try to do it again, but I just like added my mindset to like come and just ride and ride as much as I can. Just. It's, it's hard not to ride here. <laughs> like I just feel like when I when I see like such a good park that for like for me to like just stop riding it's hard. Like even to eat I'm just like I don't want to take a break because there's just too much things to go hit over there, over here, here, or whatever. So I don't know, I just I'm riding, cruising, having fun. And I know there's a lot of dudes killing it, so we'll see. <laughs> What about the first Jib Fest you came to? How did that all go down? Um, well, what happened was I I just got on Stepchild like that winter, um, like in the fall, and then um, Sean Johnson asked me to write like all my goals that I wanted to do in my in that year and in my career, and so I, I did both. And he read like that year, and it was cool. And then he's like read my career one, and one of them was like go to the Nixon Jib Fest. So he read that and he's like, why don't, you, why, why, why don't we try to get you there this year? And I was like, well, I don't think that's possible. Like no one really knows who I am or whatever. I haven't even filmed the video part or anything. But he, he just said, hey, I know JP, so just make a tape and we'll send it to him. So um, he sent, sent JP a tape and, and I guess like it was cool. Like they, they, they were down, but Probably, I don't know, I guess the list came out and I wasn't on it, which I, I, it was no surprise to me. I was like, there's no way I'm getting in. And then uh, I think Sean like called JP like so many times to bug him and probably annoyed him a lot, but he was just wondering like, hey, hey, this morning, this morning. And, um, I guess Chad Otterstrom got hurt or something and then JP called Sean like three days before and said, hey, we need one more spot to fill. So send your boy down and, and then that's how I got in. So pretty pretty lucky. And then what happened after you got in? <laughs> <laughs> I just I just was like so stoked, like even just to be riding with all the pros, like I just couldn't I don't know, it was just like I couldn't believe it. It was like a full dream come true and and then I just I just didn't wanna like just go there and just and just chill. I, I wanted just to like ride and just show people what I could do and, and show like all the pros what I could do and, and I end up they voted for me in the end which is one of the best feelings that, that I've had. Voted for you for what? <laughs> to win. <laughs> <laughs> that's sick. Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, that's one of my, my best memories that I have for sure. Yeah. Do you think since then jibbing has changed much like park style jibbing or yeah. is it kind of the same thing? I think it's changed like a little bit like I, I think that since these contests happen like back in the day that like, people like the part the year after the parks would just copy some of their setups you know and, and like do an s-rail and all that stuff so it but it kind of just dulled out like after that people just kind of just put the same thing in every year you know and I, I think Bear Mountain kind of they kind of raised the bar and they, they'll put like different boxes here and there and and like cool stuff but you don't see that much and then I, I came here again and and it's pretty cool like they, they actually set up stuff like you to hit in the streets kind of like a wall like an L wall and like I don't know just like cool different stuff that, that changed part I think like our street progressive riding changed like the way that the guys see the park so I think it's it's uh it's just getting better every year now it is. is there a feature here that is your favorite this year? Or? Uh, I like a lot of it. I, I, I kind of like the, like 
that little mix and logo is cool, it's fun, and um, that gap cane's fun for me. Um, just the down rail lines are cool, and it's like, there's like some L box, which is cool. I don't know, like a lot of the stuff's fun for me, so I can't really pick, I don't think. What about the other stuff here, like, just like the food and the rest of the scene, like the non-snowboard stuff, how's that? Well, it's crazy how it's changed. Because <laughs> the first year it was like pretty mellow. It was like you're staying in a condo and you'd have like a hot dog and burger every meat, like every lunch and stuff. But this year they took it over the top. They like booked the nicest place ever in, in, um, at the bottom and it's like sickest jacuzzi and like just you, you get down downstairs to the lobby and take your boots off and just people take them, put them in the boot dryer. <laughs> got a board rack there's just like all this stuff that you don't even get at your house <laughs> and then the food here is freaking amazing this year they like just stepped it up huge and actually did like barbecue grilling today and yesterday they did like rad burgers and, and hot dogs and nothing like stock about anything here this year and like they they pimped us out with like gear like a sweater and watches and like a bunch of sick nicks and stuff so that was really cool too just like it just you feel like you're a part of something when you're when you come to this thing they'll give you like this plaque like thanks for, you know you're thanks for coming you're invited and one into 13 it's pretty pretty rad feeling how about after the first nicks and jib fest you came to at right after that we took like a break from doing it did that kind of suck because it was like your first one and then all of a sudden it was nothing Never again, maybe. No, I, I didn't think it sucked because I, I I mean I just had such a good time the fir at the first one and like it, it really jump started my career so I can't I can't like say one bad thing about that and I understand like after that after those contests came out everyone was just biting jib jib contests and it just kind of kind of got stagnant you know and and Nixon was always like cool with something new so. I don't know, I think it's just, uh, you just gotta roll with those decisions and, and But are you glad it's back now? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> it's the, one of the funnest things I've done this year, so far. Sick. Are there any standouts here at this year's GIF Fest that come to mind? Yeah, like, told, I guess, uh, E-Man's got like a familiar story to me, like he kind of got called in because Sove got hurt and he's he's ripping like usual, so that's sick to see another stepchild dude killing it. And then, um, Steven's done some cool stuff. A lot of people have done like some pretty rad stuff on like different features. Luis ripping. And, um, I saw Chico do the S-Rail, the triple S-Rail, <laughs> and that's pretty crazy because he's only ridden twice this year. And, you did the S rail bolts like so fast, so there's been some like hammers going down. It's awesome. Is there anything left here that you kind of been sniffing out and saving for later, or you kind of hit everything up that you wanted to get so far? <laughs> I've I've hit like pretty much everything I wanted to hit, but there's this one feature that I kind of feel pressured into hitting. <laughs> I'll probably hit that. <laughs> what is it? So it's that triple box thing <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of gnarly and i don't really know if i have a trick for it but i'll give it a whirl Try yeah. it out. but that's that's pretty much it and i got a good run on that gap king today that was what i want to do today so that's cool what about the wheels of death the wheels of misfortune what, what's your take on that i'm actually pretty excited for it <laughs> i just think it'll be funny to see People just like trip out and it'll be fun just to try. It's like pretty much your last day of the year shred and so might as well go for it. <laughs> and it's a hundred bucks when they shot during the trick, so that's tight. Alright, any other last things you wanna add about this little event? No, I just it's pretty much my favorite contest, I guess if you wanna call it a contest, not really. And uh, it's like just rad. Nixon's uh, thanks. Like I probably should say thanks to Nixon for putting it on, because no other company like does anything like this, and it's it's pretty cool, and I feel blessed to be doing it.
Alright.